it was billionaire versus billionaire in the battleground states, with Tesla CEO Elon Musk stumping for Republican candidate Donald Trump in Pennsylvania, and Shark Tank star Mark Cuban joining Democratic candidate Kamala Harris in Wisconsin. Would y'all mind if I, like, pick on Donald Trump a little bit? Cuban on Thursday criticized Trump's proposal to issue fresh tariffs, calling it a crazy notion that would hurt American consumers. Meanwhile, Musk held his Philadelphia suburb event without Trump and said the election would decide, quote, the fate of Western civilization. The reason I'm here in person is because Pennsylvania is so important to the future of the world. So. Musk, in the span of three months, has given around $75 million to his pro-Trump spending group, underscoring how he has become crucial to the former president's efforts to win the November 5th election. Cuban, unlike Musk, is not a political donor. The entrepreneur is especially appealing to young men, who have become a key demographic in a race, where the gender gap has widened as males overall have shifted to Trump. Next week, Vice President Harris will campaign for the first time with Barack and Michelle Obama in separate events, hoping to inject some political star power in the final dash to Election Day, according to a senior campaign official. The former president and his wife remain immensely popular with the Democratic base, and are expected to be effective closers in the final stretch of a campaign, relying on turnout from loyal Democrats in states where victory margins are thin.